calling all Katy cats. Think you know everything about this much-loved star? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you didn't know about Katy Perry. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at fun and interesting facts about one of our favorite pop stars. Number 10. American Idol Really Wanted Her Back in 2013, reports said that the producers of the hit singing competition show American Idol offered Katy Perry a whopping $20 million to be a judge on the show's 12th season. She said no, despite the potentially huge payout, but they did manage to convince her to join the judging panel of the show's revival in 2017. Judge not lest ye be judged. Sources say that they upped the offer, and she said to be paid $25 million for the gig. That's about $10 million more than what Jennifer Lopez was allegedly being paid for her first season with the show. I've and seen you know those it takes a lot videos. for me to Whoa. feel dirty. It takes a lot That's for me dirty. to feel dirty. I'm so sure I'm gonna it have does. To say no. Especially with that top. <laughs> Number nine, she has some pretty weird possessions. When you're as rich and famous as Katy Perry is, you might at some point run out of logical things to spend your millions on. If you've already got gorgeous houses, a stocked wardrobe, and pretty much anything else a girl could ask for, you may start getting a little strange. Katy has bought a ticket on Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic flight to space and says she has this weird meditation chair that changes lights. And in 2015, she announced she was in the market for a cryogenic chamber to sleep in. Number 8. She's written songs for many other artists While we knew, of course, that Katy Perry has penned many of her own famous songs, did you know that she has also worked on creating tracks for other artists? Some of the songs were originally intended for Perry herself and ended up being passed on to other musicians, but some were written intentionally for others. This has been happening since early in her career. Some of the other stars she's co-written for are Britney Spears, Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea, Kelly Clarkson, and Selena Gomez. Don't be surprised, I will still rise. Number 7. She has broken some records In 2011, Katy Perry broke a serious record with her success on her album Teenage Dream. She became the first female artist to have five hits from the same album to go to number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. She shares the honor with Michael Jackson, who was the first person ever to achieve that record with Bad. The five singles were Last Friday Night, California Girls, Teenage Dream, Firework, and E.T. Meanwhile, with 11 in total, the song Dark Horse from her next album Prism gave her the most chart toppers on Billboard's pop songs ever, tied with Rihanna, that is. Number 6. Her fifth album, Witness, will have political themes I'm going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Many celebs became involved in the 2016 election, choosing camps and supporting different candidates. Katy Perry was one of the many stars to attach herself to Hillary Clinton's presidential bid, speaking and performing at one of her rallies during the campaign. Victory is in your veins. Perry has come out to say that her upcoming album Witness, which is being released on June 9, 2017, will be at least in part about her political awakening and the Trump era. She says her first single, Chain to the Rhythm, is the most political song she's ever written. Number 5. She Believes in Aliens Katy Perry has been open about her beliefs since early on in her career, but in her 2014 GQ cover story, she revealed some new info about some of her more out-there opinions. It may not come as a surprise that the E.T. singer is open about her belief in aliens, saying that it would be completely self-centered of humanity to assume they're the only ones who exist in our universe. She says she's been meaning to ask Obama what he thinks about the issue, when they're a little closer, that is. Number 4. She's the queen of Twitter You want to be number one? Yes, I do. So it's all about you. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> all right. As of 2017, Katy Perry has an undisputed reign over this social media platform, with over 90 million followers. She beats out others like Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, Barack Obama, and Rihanna, all of whom are millions of followers behind. 
The singer-songwriter keeps her legions of fans entertained with hilarious streams of consciousness, and only the occasional self-promotional tweet. She has also used Twitter to try to mobilize her followers to take action for the political causes she supports. Make it rain. Breakfast burritos. Number 3. She has a very religious background. This was never the way I planned, not my intention. If you've been following Katie since the beginning of her career, you probably remember that her religious upbringing was a big topic of conversation when her breakout hit I Kissed a Girl was hitting the charts. I kissed a girl and I liked it. The taste of her cherry Her parents are Pentecostal Christians, and she had a very strict upbringing where she wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter or even watch the Smurfs. Ironically, she went on to star in the Smurfs movie many years later. Hi, four. Hi, Four Grace. Before she became a pop princess, she actually released a Christian rock album that didn't exactly break any records. Number two, her rise to fame wasn't instantaneous. When Katie was still a teenager, she left home to study Italian opera at the Music Academy of the West in California. California girls, man. This was short-lived because she was discovered by Steve Thomas and Jennifer Knapp, who brought her to Nashville to practice songwriting and musicianship. She later signed to a label called Java, which was eventually dropped. And then she signed to Columbia, which, after two years of work on her album, dropped Perry. Despite all these roadblocks, by 2008 she would make it big with her breakthrough album One of the Boys. No more mistakes. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's Katy Perry here, and I'm making my debut acting skills on the number one daytime drama, Young and the Restless. She's a killer, queen, got body to the team. You were the one who was spending the night. Oh, I wish that I was looking into your Number one, she didn't finish high school. In the first semester of her freshman year in high school, Katy Perry decided to skip out on the traditional educational experience in order to pursue her dreams of being a singer. At that age, she already knew what she wanted out of life and made it happen by getting her GED at the age of 15 and moving away soon after to start work in the music industry. She admits that she sometimes has trouble with the written word, however, and struggles with spelling and grammar. With her level of success, though, we don't think anyone will mind if she mixes up her yours and yours. I'm Katy Perry, and I'm not just one thing. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. <laughs>